it's a 1989 uh, Cadillac Fleetwood Broham D Elegance. So you know, it's it was it wasn't definitely wasn't like this when I started it. It was just plain Jane. Uh, needed new floors. Had to replace all that. Need a new top, new headliner. The normal stuff you would get out of something out of the 80s that you gotta rebuild. Uh, I actually had a, I had a Regal Limited and uh, I was selling it. And I wanted to build a, a Fleetwood like this. And some guys I came across, they said, well, we got a Fleetwood like that, but it needs some work. I said, well, I'll, treat you, I'll trade you my Regal Limited for this Fleetwood and some money because the, the Regal was all done up, custom interior and everything. So that's how, that's how we ended up trading for, for the Cadillac and then you know some money and that was it it was time time to go to work uh, i've been i've been in low riders like my whole life since i was young from the low rider bikes to the model cars to now the real cars so it's just it's just something i do but some people get attached to them i don't too much get attached to them like if somebody come with the right amount i sell them and start another project that i got in my head or you know other cars i got lined up that i want to do so i don't get too attached to them you get a little attached but not too attached uh, I started young, like my dad was into it. You know, he was in the hot rods and all that, and I just happened to go the low rider route. It was more, I don't know. When I first seen my first low rider, I had to be about seven or eight, and I just thought it was amazing that a car could raise up and down. I used to see them go fast when I was little, but seeing it raise up and down, I was, I was like, no, I got to build low riders. Like I know you build hot rods, I got to build low riders, and it's, that was it. I was hooked. And once you get into it, it I don't, th I don't think it's a passion that ever go away once you start. Yeah.